Hello, I'm Keith Ford here at Brownells, and welcome to another edition of From the Vault. Today I have my Famaro 37M. This was the issued handgun for the Hungarian military from 1937 to 1944, and was the last in a series of guns developed by Rudolf Frommer, famous for the Frommer Stop handgun. Now, Frommer had went to work for FEG in 1896, and he was actually a banker who had been brought in to straighten up the financial difficulties that FEG was having. They were going bankrupt and they needed help. And But while Frommer was there, he got interested in firearms and actually into the design of firearms. And the Frommer Stop, Frommer Lilliput, there were several different guns that Frommer designed. And at the time of his death in 1936, he had over 100 patents under his name for designs of various different guns. And now, even though that this was a takeoff of the Frommer 29M, his input on this gun is kind of still up in the air whether or not he actually had anything to do with this or not because it was put into production a year after his death. Now, the 37M is just a little change of the 29M. The little cocking pieces back here at the end of the slide were removed and then the serrations put in and a couple of things here and there were changed up. But the uh, 37M is a very robust gun. It's chambered in 380 ACP 9mm Kurtz of 9mm Browning Short. And that was the cartridge that the Hungarian military used. Now there were 180,000 of these produced for the Hungarian military from 1937 to 1944. And the Nazi military also contracted with FEG to have a 32 ACP version done, which had a thumb safety installed right here. And those were mainly issued to Luftwaffe. And whenever the Nazi military had someone else contract guns, they knew that they were pretty good. And they were. Now let's take a look at this inside. So we'll get ready and check this and bring this slide back. Everything is empty. Now, if you'll notice, there are two notches right here. Front one is the slide stop lock, but the one right here, bring it back, and then that locks that into position. Kick the magazine out. Now then, now you have it locked back in this first notch. Rotate the barrel. This will come out. And you'll notice that there is a cut over here that the lugs will go through. Now then, drop the slide. And that's it. Basic, very simple, simple design, well thought out. And reassembly is just opposite. Put the guide rod back in. Recoil spring there. Lock it into position. Drop our barrel in. There you go. European style heel release, common on most all small handguns of the time period. But overall, a heavy, well built little gun. Uh, at the end of 1944-1945, uh, production ceased of these, and that was the end of it. This one right here is a 1943 production gun, and it's very good condition. It's actually a bring back, have papers on. Didn't see a whole lot of service, more likely just packed in a holster somewhere than was captured by a USGI. After the Russians took over Hungary, uh, production of the Frommer designs ceased, and that was pretty much the end of it. But still, super cool little gun and some pretty neat history along the design of these. Now, if there's a gun that you'd like to see, just drop us a line. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault. Mm -hmm.